Good morning everybody and a very warm welcome from Hampton Court today. And on a beautiful day like today, it's hard to imagine what it was like to navigate on a high sea 300 years ago in rough weather and without any GPS. At sea, a clock that is wrong by let's say one second in three minutes could have landed you on the rocks of disaster. Latitude was easy to establish with a compass and the sun or the stars. The real problem was longitude. And all it took to solve the conundrum was an ultra precise clock that would work on a rocking ship. In 1714, the British government set a price of 20,000 pounds for a method to determine longitude at sea. In the very end, John Harrison, a carpenter and self-taught watchmaker, won the award. But it took him 40 years to build a clock that was off by just one second in three days. Ever since, progress in timekeeping has been linked to advances in mobility. In 1825, George Stephenson built locomotion number one for the first public railway. Soon, railways operations required some kind of standardized time and passengers would need pocket watches to catch their trains. It was the time when Ferdinand Adolf Lange established his watch manufactory in Glashütte, determined to build the world's best watches. A small detail still reminds us of the link between railways and timekeeping. The railway track minute scale on the dials of our 1815 models. The step from public to private transport is as logical as it is revolutionary. At the end of the 19th century, the car becomes what the watch has already been, the pride of its owner and a coveted collector's item. Soon cars and watches will find a common playground, motorsport. And once again, every single second counts. It's the hour of the chronograph, the supreme discipline in fine watchmaking. At A. Lange und Söhne, it has a tradition that goes all the way back to the year 1868. When the company was re-established in 1990, it was only a question of time until it would start developing its own modern chronograph, the datograph. The highlight was its caliber L951, developed and assembled completely in the Lange manufactory. With its classic column wheel construction, precisely jumping minute counter and flyback function, the new reference spurred on further developments. I think this is only the beginning of many good stories and I could move on for hours, but time is limited. And I hope you find of some interest what we just shared with you. All the best, stay healthy and bye-bye.